Hello everybody, this is the first of several little video segments that I'm going to create that will help you better understand how to do the PowerPoint uh, presentation, uh, I'm sorry, the Excel presentation for the MTT test. It would probably help if you get out your MTT manual and follow along as I'm going over this and follow along especially as I'm going over the spreadsheet part of it. And I believe that the um, Excel skills apps begin somewhere around page 65 or 66 somewhere in there of the test prep manual. Alright so I'm gonna do some stuff that uh, is might be considered boring but I'm gonna read to you what the prompt says just to make sure you get it. The, the classroom context in this performance assessment focuses on a fifth grade teacher Mr. Tedesco and he is preparing a unit on science exploration. The reason I'm reading this to you is because you're going to see sprinkled throughout a couple of details that you're going to need to know as you're going through and doing uh, your actual skills application on the test itself. So uh, looking at the background as part of a study on space exploration, Mr. Tedesco would like his students to consider how the weights of different familiar ob objects would change if those objects were transported to different planets. He began by researching the conversion factors to convert the weights on Earth to four other planets as shown in the following table. And if you look at this table, this, these are your conversion factors that you're going to need to transport or move over to your uh, actual spreadsheet when you get to the test. So what Mr. Tedesco would like, oh, and then he used this table to create a conversion table and the title of the convert the table is weight of objects on five planets in pounds and again he's providing this information uh, so that you understand what it is that uh, you the data you are going to be working with these two tables were created in a single word processing processing document mr tedesco would like to use these tables in a spreadsheet so that the formula features automatically update the weights displayed in the conversion table when any of the weights entered in the earth column are changed or if a conversion is modified in the table of factors. Alright, so what that means is that uh, when any of the weights are entered here, uh, Mr. Tedesco wants the corresponding uh, formula to fill in these cells here and if this is changed, for example, we move from a 33 to a 35, then these cells should change correspondingly. Now, they don't do that right now because you are in a Word document, but this is what he wants. Now, the other thing he's looking at is if this table changes and Mars suddenly has 0.38 and it changed to 0.48, then correspondingly, uh, in Mars, these columns, uh, cell columns right here, would change when this is changed. When Jupiter, when and if Jupiter is changed, that would correspondingly change here automatically without you having to re-enter the formula each time. So it's important for you to understand that that's what he wants to have happen because it's going to make a difference in how you actually fill out the chart when you start working on the spreadsheet. Mr. Tedesco will ask a student to add an additional object of his or her choosing to the table's empty row. Now if you notice there is not an empty row and since you're supposed to have an empty row in there with the student's choice what you're going to have to do on the spreadsheet is actually add the empty row. After the class agrees on an estimated weight for this object in earth pounds that value will be entered in the appropriate cell. The weight for this object and four other planets will be displayed automatically uh, for the class and again the keyword here is automatically so that's really important the uh, movie length is just about to run out and so I'm gonna close right here